Hey Vinyl Community, Brian again, uh, Gibson A9 on YouTube. Uh, coming back for another installment of the uh, video series for my Prague vinyl collection. So, uh, the first video we went through the letter A, from AD through Asia. So today we're going to do B's and C's. So, uh, let's get right into it. Oh, go Hokies. Wanted to represent for a quick second. I am a Hokie alumni, I had to say that. Alright, let's start out with letter B. Uh, Badger, One Live Badger, with a killer Roger Dean cover. Um, this obviously was, uh, this was Tony K's band, I think that he did, um, I don't remember if it was before he was in Yes or after he was in Yes, but uh, this is kind of more rock and roll with some Hammond Hammond organ type stuff, but One Live Badger, not not too bad of an album, but awesome album cover. On the Italian prog front, Banco, um, Banco de Mucho Sicorsco, if I'm saying that right, is one of the great, you know, probably top three Italian prog groups of all time, and this was a U.S. release they put out called Banco, but uh, uh, excellent. Italian Prague. If you like PFM and that kind of stuff, you'll like Banco. Um, okay, next group, Barclay James Harvest uh, from 1975. And this one is uh, Time Honored Ghosts from the next year, I believe, uh, 76. Uh, October on. Really cool album cover there. Barclay James Harvest October on. Um, and these are out of order a second. Sorry about that. Another Barclay James Harvest um, Gone to Earth. It's a, a die cut cover there on the front. Uh, and the fourth Barclay James Harvest that I've got is uh, 12, Roman numeral 12 is the title, promo. Haven't really listened to the Barclay James Harvest too much, um, except for the song Mockingbird, uh, but I have to explore these albums uh, that I've got. So, Next one, this is not exactly prog, but it's very keyboard oriented. This is Gandarva by Beaver and Krauss. They were early pioneers of the Moog synthesizer, um, very early on. I think, is it uh, one of the guys, I think, actually helped, um, played on the, the Monkees album that used uh, the Moog synthesizer. I think they had two of them, uh, Pisces and Aquarius, or whatever that Monkees album is, uses Moog, and I think one of these guys actually played it. So it's not exactly prog, but it's kind of early experimental uh, Experimental keyboard work. All right, moving on through the Bs, the Buggles. Again, not exactly prog, prog related. The Buggles, of course, were uh, Jeff Downs and Trevor Horn. Um, this is Adventures in Modern Recording. Uh, not a great, kind of a worn copy of that, but um, Beatnik, Vermilion Sands is a great song. I Am a Camera, the song that. Uh, they later recorded when they became part of Yes on the Drama album. Uh, of course, uh, Trevor Horn uh, and Jeff Downs joining Yes for the Drama album uh, brought that song along with them, I Am a Camera. Kind of a neat version on here though, I always like the Buggles music, it's synth pop, but it's good synth pop. The one that probably you've seen, this is a Japanese pressing of The Age of Plastic. Picked this up when I was in Tokyo. Um, this has uh, Elstree, which is one of my favorite Buggle songs of all time, uh, as well as the one everybody knows, uh, Video Killed the Radio Star, which was the first video shown on MTV. Uh, again, not exactly core prog, but prog related. All right, moving on to an excellent group, Camel. Um, I hadn't discovered much Camel till a couple years ago, but... Uh, just love the sound of this group. This is Mirage, the U.S. cover 
of Mirage by Camel. Of course, the original cover looked like uh, looked like a Camel cigarette package, if you will, the picture that's on that. But um, this is great, just excellent uh, lady fantasy, of course. Uh, that you may know that song, but that's just an incredible song, great prog classic. This is on Janus. Um, the Snow Goose, considered one of Camel's probably best works. Um, I guess that was uh, theme music from The Snow Goose, but uh, um, Riator, Rayator, the song Rayator is great. Um, uh, the third one that I would consider just essential from Camel is Moon Madness. Um, this is the U.S. cover of Moon Madness, and again, a better, the British cover I think I like definitely better than the, the goofy Camel Moon suit. You know, that's, I guess that's proggy looking, but you know, it's not exactly Roger Dean, but the music on here is just phenomenal though. So, uh, Andy Ward. Uh, Peter Bardens is the keyboard player. I just love his work. Um, okay, uh, next one, Camel Rain Dances. Again, still what I would consider really good prog at this point before they kind of got a little bit poppier later on. Rain Dances is also on Janus. Um, next couple are, again, not extremely core prog, but prog-related, synthesizer-related. Uh, um, Wendy Carlos switched on Bach, uh, classic early Moog synthesizer album of, uh, you can see that original, original Moog, modular Moog there like the one Keith Emerson had, uh, Walter Carlos, who is now Wendy Carlos, um, just an excellent, excellent, uh, uh electronic version of classical music. Uh, in that same vein, we've got, um, this is not Walter Carlos, but it's uh, The Moog Strikes Bach. That's a pretty cheesy name, but um, again, Moog combined with classical music seemed to be really popular and actually worked really well. And this is, um, I'm trying to think who, all works were arranged and transcribed on the Moog by Hans Vermin, or Wormann. Um, that's, that's early on back in the day, that's 1969, so, uh, think of all the effort that went into putting out an album with a modular Moog synthesizer, but, um, the Well-Tempered Synthesizer, this is another Walter Carlos classic here. If you ever see a copy of that, you can usually find that sometimes in a, you know, thrift store kind of a thing. Definitely pick this up, really, really well done. Um, it's got Brandon, Brandenburg Concerto number four on there, which is good stuff. All right, moving on, the next group would be um, Curved Air. Uh, this is, I think, their first album, Air Conditioning. Uh, they did put this out in a picture disc version. This is just the standard, standard edition of this, Air Conditioning, um, which I haven't listened to too much at this point. Um, Curved Air's second album, cleverly titled Curved Air Second Album. Uh, I guess that would be the front cover there, and that would be the back. And I, somewhere I saw recently, I guess the British cover of it was different than this. It was a white cover with uh, this semicircle business. But uh, this has got uh, Backstreet Love, which is a horribly cheesy name, but really good song. Um, next one by Curved Air would be Phantasmagoria. Uh, this is the only copy I've picked up. It's got, you know, marking on the front that I may try to get off of there. Um, but, uh, this is an excellent, excellent work. Phantasmagoria. Um, and finally, Air Cut by Curved Air. And Air Cut is significant to me because it's got, uh, Eddie Jobson who is a favorite of mine. Eddie uh, put out the Green Album by the group he had called Zinc. Um, he played in UK with uh, John Wetton and Terry Bozio and 
well, and earlier Bruford, but, um, uh, and also with Frank Zappa, but um, kind of a cool psychedelic back on that, but some great, great music on air cut with uh, Eddie Jobson's keyboard work and electric violin work, so that's letters B and C. Uh, I don't think I have any prog albums in, that start with D, so... I guess next time we're on to E, but E holds good things. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, Electric Light Orchestra. So we'll we'll check that out next time. Uh, thanks for viewing, all you prog people that have left me nice uh, comments. Appreciate you doing that, and I continue to enjoy your videos. So uh, keep posting them to the vinyl community, and uh, we'll talk to you later.